What is up, my dog lovers? This is the homemade dog food video I've been talking about. Uh, the ingredients consist of one pound ground lean turkey, three quarter cup sweet potato, three quarter cups butternut squash, three quarter cups broccoli slaw. Broccoli slaw consists of broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage already shredded, one whole egg, one teaspoon of turmeric and ginger, one quarter cup of 100% pure pumpkin puree, and about a teaspoon of unrefined virgin coconut oil cold pressed so it doesn't lose any of its nutrient value i do put the vegetables in the food processor to chop them up a little bit finer dogs don't chew food like human beings so the smaller the pieces the better there it gives their digestive system enough time to absorb the proteins from the vegetables and this will kind of imitate the chewing of a human being once I get that done, I add the tablespoon of coconut oil in the pan. This just helps with the browning process for the ground turkey. Uh, the ground turkey, you want to put it in there on a medium to low setting if you're not comfortable with cooking or maybe a high setting if you are. Break it up into smaller pieces just so you could get it all cooked evenly. While that's cooking evenly, I go ahead and chop up the eggshells. Eggshells have a high value in vitamin C. Uh, organic egg shell, organic eggs are actually better. So if you could get those, do it. Excuse my knife skills. I'm not great at this. I'm a lot better with the sword. Um, but yeah, you just chop them up as fine as possible. I mean, you could put those in a processor and make them into powder as well. Or if you want to substitute that, go to your local pet store and get a vitamin C powder that you could introduce to your dog food. I go back to the ground turkey. I add my turmeric and ginger. Uh, while that's browning, I go ahead and do that. And then I add my vegetables to the pan. Excuse the silence. This is take 57, and I'm not going back over it. So you guys enjoy what you got right now. But I add the vegetables in there. You can see the texture and the uh, the how minced they are. And that, that helps with the cooking process as well. Uh, it'll be a lot faster if you do that. I add the one egg white in there because I did separate the yolk from the egg. I cover it and I let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables are tender. Uh, while that's happening, I just kind of stand around and wonder how I'm going to do this video. If you guys were here listening to me, standing behind me cursing and doing everything I did, you would understand how frustrating this first video was for me. Um, I put everything in a mixing bowl, the yolk, the puree, the dog food that was cooked. I mix it all together, and then I add the eggshell in there. Um, once you mix it all together, please let it sit. Don't be an animal. Uh, let it cool down because dogs have sensitive pellets as well. They can't control what hits the roof of their mouth. So you do want it to be room temperature before they eat it. Uh, put it in their dog bowl and then try it out. What's great about this recipe is it'll hold for seven days in the fridge. Um, I have smaller pups, so this will last a few days. But for Thanksgiving, you get give them a little bit of everything, turkey, vegetables, and a little bit of pumpkin pie. Um, I'm going to show you a short clip of uh, my dog, Willow. She does kind of say, what the hell? Uh, she's never had real homemade dog food before. So she sits down like she doesn't know what to do. She's seven weeks old, but she does go back to it and finish her meal. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and the awkward audio or narration or voiceover, whatever you want to call it, because this was hard as hell. So, goodbye. <laughs>